Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Golden Kamui season 4 episode number 1 reaction. Okay, uh, before we begin I have to say something. Uh, I'm uploading when this video will be uploaded. It won't be that time that I usually upload. It'll be one day after. Today because it's the beginning of you know this season I'm uploading it a little bit quicker and since I don't have any other anime to record. So that's why from next week onwards, this will come out one day after, you know, the next day it'll come out. I'll upload it. So that's just one thing I wanted to clear before we begin. All right. So this is Golden Kamui season four, episode number one. And it's been a while that Golden Kamui season three ended. And uh, yeah, Golden Kamui has always been one of my favorite, like, you know, animes and uh, <clears throat> one of my top animes. And it's uh, criminally underrated in the Western anime community. I barely see people talking about this show, which is kind of a shame because this has everything. You know, like I've as far as I've as I've seen, the comedy in Golden Kamui is one of the best comedies that I've ever seen in any anime. Not only that, it has action. It has a lot of like you know like you know, twists and turns. You know, the story is amazing, and it has some very like you know likable uh, characters, main characters. And uh, like I said, it has everything. And uh, oh boy, like you know, this is this, I don't know why more people don't know about this show in the Western anime community. It's it's such a shame, but it's like you know, it's 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 one of the best shows that I've ever seen. And I'm I I thoroughly enjoyed season three. It was uh, if I had to rank all the three seasons, I'd probably put rank season three the top because we get to see a lot of new revelations. One of the biggest twists I have ever got to see was the whole thing with um <coughs> surumi with cap uh, like you know the, the whole twist with how he was hasegawa and all of that so you know it's 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 crazy all the twists and turns and it, it was amazing uh, like i said the comedy is fantastic in this show it's so random and just so abrupt that you can't even process it and like something happens in front of you and you're like my god this is hilarious so so many things you know this that makes this show so good and uh, i'm glad it's back and I think the manga has actually ended as far as I know. So hopefully we actually get like a full adaptation. That will be amazing. Uh, I really hope uh, we get like a further like, you know, sequel. If, if there's enough story left, we might get another sequel. So I'm hoping for like, you know, getting like a full adaptation of this. And uh, that'll be so good. But anyways, um, yeah. So let us begin. Uh, season 3, I had actually forgotten a few things. So I rewatched it recently. And uh, yeah, my memory is pretty good now you know I, I i know what happened in season three i'm up to date and uh yeah i also reacted to season three in my channel um it, it was when i was starting youtube i think like you know i was very new to youtube and it was it was a great like you know i, I loved reacting to golden kamui let us begin again then so this is season four episode one let's start with the reaction so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here thank you to whichever is a preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three Two, one, go. Here we go. A little recap. Oh yeah, Ogata uh, escaped later in the end. <clears throat> Yeah, he runs away. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> like, at least Ashripa's hands, like, you know, Ashripa was not the one who killed him. That's why Sugimoto was so happy. He didn't want Ashripa to be the reason of his death. Okay. So, I think we're going back to Hokkaido now, as far as I remember. All right. Ryu is there. Verge of crossing. Okay. Oh no, is, is something going to happen? Uh. 
Oh boy, this is the place where something happened before. Don't. Okay, okay, everything is fine. Thank God. Okay, this is the opening. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, me. Okay, so. Oh boy, Ogata, yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm, I'm liking the song. Whoa. Is that... Oh, yeah, that's Hijikata. Damn. <laughs> okay, who is this character? This is a new character, I think. Oh, he's a prisoner. Okay. Here's the tattoos. Shizuka. Russian out of Russia. Okay, that's uh, interesting. <laughs> Russian out of Russia. <laughs> oh, someone's keeping an eye on them. Who is this? Hmm. Okay. Oh my god, yo, this picture. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> wow, the way his expression changes as soon as he puts it back. Ah, uh. uh, Osama. <laughs> yes, he, she was talking about that. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god, yo! Oh god. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Yeah, this is a bad position. Oh my god. Then, yeah. Is it Ogata? No. I don't think this is Ogata. <laughs> wow! Alright. Not your face. Okay, wow. Great. Uh, there you go. Is it Ogata? I don't know. Like, I feel like... That's crazy. So he didn't even stop to just... Is it Ogata? Ah, I don't think so. No, this is not Ogata. Or someone else. Wait, is that Sugimoto? Yep. <laughs> yeah, he's going to go in from the other side. Okay. It's not Ogata. That means. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay. Oh, okay. Oh no. I really hope none of them dies. <laughs> Oh. I don't think that's going to work. No. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> well, nice. Wait. Oh, this is that guy. Uh, that guy. Oh, wait, he's alive. Yeah. Buh, okay. Hmm, Sugimoto is going in, you know. Close range. Yeah. Yeah, because you, you're concent concentrating in one position that you go become oblivious. Oh no, he, he realized. Okay, he realized. Okay. Hmm. Then he'll have to reload. It's not Ogata. I feel like he's going to stop after realizing that. Okay. No, he has a revolver. No, oh my god. Yeah, I sh we should have realized this. Oh, nice. Oh. I feel like someone is already waiting for him in the Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, he saw the picture. There you go. Oh wait, maybe he'll he'll become our ally because he also wants to get because he also wants to get Ogata. It's okay. They're not going to shoot. <laughs> yeah, best friends, you know. He cannot speak. I think he can speak Japanese or. He's like, yeah, enemy of your enemy is your friend, you know, let's come with us. Uh. But. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine Ashripa just coming here and seeing this happen. Oh my god, you, your, your sketching is horrible. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Oh, uh, she, she, she's there. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. Okay, now now he can translate. 
Chima can translate. There you go. <laughs> exactly. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, he, he got shot him. Yeah. Damn, it was so brutal that they didn't they didn't even show us. No, he can join us, he can help us hunt down Ogata or something, I don't know. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh. oh, there you go. Uh, okay, so he's gonna come with us. No, no, he, he probably wants to... He's interested in Ogata. Hmm, exactly. Yeah, definitely. I wonder, yeah, I wonder what his goal is actually. Like, why does he want the gold? Gold. Hmm. Oh, this is that lighthouse. <clears throat> yeah. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> okay, his name is Kiraoshi, okay. Ah, nah, that's not happening. I don't see that happening. Okay. <laughs> Oh, they're talking about this guy. Okay, okay, never mind. I thought they're talking about Hijikata. Oh! Oh my god. Ah, that's how we got it. <laughs> okay, understandable. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>
Wow. Oh boy. Hmm. <laughs> oh wow whoa it's like ice skating what okay okay that was not <laughs> oh damn ah beautiful <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Nice. Okay. <laughs> really? Wait, what? Oh. Hmm. Oh, that's how. Wow. Mm -hmm. Loyalty. Fair enough, I guess, but you know. He's still alive. I feel like I'm making a mistake here. Because that's what happened. Like you took Hijikata hostage. That's impossible. Ah! Completely cold. Okay. Okay, who is this? Oh my god, it's him. It's him. It's probably poisoned. <laughs> ah, well. Oh, no, no, no. One of them. Oh wow, he's he, he's playing with luck again. So out of ten, only one. okay. That's he has high hearts. Oh, oh, oh yes, nice. There you go. You win. <laughs> nice, perfect. You're lucky, my guy. They just went so smoothly inside like all the holes. That's fine. <laughs> oh wow. Well this time it worked out, you know. You're fortunate to be alive.
But this time the bad luck worked out. <laughs> Okay, is this the ending? It's Ogata's brother. Okay, this is an interesting way they did the ending. Okay, okay. Nice. Alright, here we go. Oh. Is he going to wake up? Wait. Okay, that's it. All right. So this was episode one of season four, and uh, yeah, we can like you know like it's just in this episode only we get like a you know, whole like you know new like you know action like you know like, like they like start fighting and everything. It's crazy how like you know like I thought the first episode would probably be a lot more you know peaceful and everything, but no, we just get into it. Uh, and there was like a little battle in the middle but then you know we get to see how that guy I don't I remember his name but that sniper you know he's he's actually not trying to get us but he's trying to get Ogata so yeah like you know, that's his main goal and obviously you know as they say your enemy's enemy is your friend um I I was like okay maybe he's going to join us or something and it looks like that's what's going to happen because he's following us you know so it wouldn't be surprised like it wouldn't be surprising at all if he decides to you can just join us obviously his goal will be to get ogata while we do our own thing his goal will be to go with get ogata and you know like up until like and, and and since we have the most chances of finding where ogata is or ogata trying to find us he's definitely going to stick around he's not going to let this go easily Okay, so we begin this uh, episode with them moving towards like, you know, the border and, you know, going back and like, oh boy, this, the, you know, those, the, the, the border um, from, of, of Russia and like, you know, like Japan, like, I think, uh, yeah, that border, the thing that happened before in the previous season where, you know, at, at this point, um, <clears throat> that guy, that old man who was you know running using the sled, he got shot. And as soon as like you know the the, the whole battle starts where they try to get, um, you know like uh, they try to kill them that that sniper that uh, that sniper who is trying to get Ogata. And you know the battle with between Ogata and him begins. That happened. So the way they were showing us, you know that scene, I was I was like oh no like you know, is something again like that is going to happen or something. But thankfully nothing happened, you know, they kind of crossed the border and I'm like, okay, that's nice, you know. <laughs> so, now after that, we see someone's keeping an eye on them uh, using binoculars. And uh, now, obviously, they, like, everyone was, like, at, at, at first I was like, okay, who is this? I was pretty sure this was not Ogata because, I don't know, I don't see him just coming and trying to attack us like this he's way smarter than that you know he knows that he's weak now he cannot do anything and obviously he sees that there's so many people with like you know like with Ashiba at this moment and even if his goal is Sugimoto you know like he won't just just jump into the battle like that you know like I said he's not that that uh, that much f foolish he, he's going to take his time and probably gain his regain his strength back and I don't know, probably make some kind of a strategy. 
to strike then he'll strike not this quickly he's not coming this quickly so i was pretty much convinced that this is not ogata but you know obviously um you know like there was that one little bit of suspicion maybe it is ogata yeah okay so while like you know someone was keeping an eye on them um we see uh um sugishima has a uh, Tsushima has uh, given like a message to Surumi and he, he's told them that we've gotten Ashripa back, we're coming back. And uh, you know, like um Oito <laughs> he he with his picture he's just taking it out and he's like, oh my god, I'm again going to meet Surumi and like you know, he's, he's he's just so happy. That part was so funny where he's looking at the picture and he's like laughing and everything. And then he keeps it back, his mouth just completely drops then and there. As soon as his eye moves away from the picture and he puts it in the pocket, his, his face is just down and he's like, Oh yeah, what were you saying? <laughs> now, Sugimoto, you know, like he, 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 he has gone to like a shop to bring more miso because, you know, like Ashipa loves Osoma. <laughs> And I, like, you know, since I've recently rewatched season three, I remember Ashipa in season three saying something like, um, "Oh, like, you know, the Osuma is gone. You know, like, um, like, you know, we, I need more." And I think Shiraishi says something like, "Oh, we can bring me so, like, you know, anytime." And she said like, "No, I don't want that. I want, <laughs> I want Sugimoto's Osuma." And yeah, I, th I think I think as far as I can remember, Osuma means poop. So you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's a funny little like you know joke. <laughs> oh boy, like I remember in season 1, it was like uh, Ashipa saying something like, Oh, you're eating poop, you're eating Osama, what are you doing? And after eating it herself, she was like, Oh my god, this is so good. But this is poop, <laughs> I don't want to eat it. <laughs> but he's, she's still eating it, you know? <laughs> oh boy. Now, yeah, Sugimoto's like, yes, like I've got, I've got the miso, and Ashipa will be very happy. And uh, while this was happening, Shirashi gets shot in the leg. And uh, you know he falls down. Now obviously everyone like you know, just just ducks down, covers their head and everything. And uh, now Shiraishi is in a very bad position. He's like in the middle of the street, you know. And uh, at first I was like, okay, like you know, they shot him in the leg. Did they like miss him or something? So if he if they actually tried to kill Shiraishi and missed it and shot their leg, then you know they might actually like you know shoot him in the head now. But they were not doing anything which kind of shows that they're keeping him alive. So like as they say, they shot him in the leg, that is the reason why. So that the allies can come out and try to get him or something. You know, that's how they're going to get them. So it's like a, he's like using him as a bait, basically that. And uh, so everyone is like, oh my god, is that Ogata? It's a sniper and he knows what he's doing. That must be Ogata. But I was still thinking, I was like, nah, nah, it's not Ogata. Like, you know, Ogata is not coming this quickly. Like, you know, he's, he's weak and everything. He's definitely not doing that. So, okay, now, first of all, Koito is like, oh, like, you know, like, uh, bring out the mirror. Uh, you know, Tsukishima. And Tsukishima is like, mirror? I don't have any mirror. <laughs> I love how he just insults him <laughs> then and there. He's like, oh, you're so ugly. That's why you don't even need a mirror. Go to my bag and bring my mirror. And Sukishima is just looking at him like, what the hell did I do? Why are you insulting me? <laughs> I love how when he gives him the mirror, he, the first thing he does is like a look at his own like you know reflection. He's like, ah, my hair. Let me let, let me just let me just you know just part my hair a little bit. Let me look a little bit more presentable. And then you know to look at the enemy, he puts the mirror up and bam, it gets gets shot. The mirror is broken. They didn't even get enough time to get to see the face. Hmm. Okay, now, okay, now next what happens is... Oh, uh, we see uh, Sugimoto uh, running from a side and like, you know, kind of going uh, in like, you know, from the side towards that direction, which kind of like, you know, makes us realize that, okay, Sugimoto is going to try to intercept him from a different position, you know, like, He's, he's paying, paying attention in this position. He doesn't know that Sugimoto is there. And the first thing that Sugimoto also thought here was that this is Ogata. So he was very like, he's like, oh my god, I'm going to get Ogata. You know, like that's why he's just ready. And he intercepted, like you know, kind of went in a different direction and tries to get him. 
Now, obviously, this sniper, this guy, he doesn't know how many people. Like, you know, he's like looking at this situation, and he thinks that's all the people that are here. He doesn't know Sugimoto is coming from a different direction. So this was perfect to actually intercept him. And obviously, um, Sukishima realizes that, and Sukishima is like, okay, like you know, like we can do something about this. You know, using like we will keep them distracted. Him, that person distracted here, and Sugimoto is going to go from a different direction and get him. Now. Okay, and first Ashiba is obviously very like you know kind of very anxious. She's like, oh my god, Sugimoto is going on his own. And now Shirashi is like, Shirashi quickly they like, you know, tied his uh, bandage, and he's like, okay, um, I need to, uh, I need to do something. And what do I do? Um, he sees the dogs, and he's like, okay, let me use the biscuits to kind of lure it here and use the dogs at cover. And I'm like, what are you doing, Shirashi? These dogs, they'll, they'll die <laughs> if that happens. You know, this is just going to. But you know what? I don't know. Like you know, maybe maybe that guy wouldn't have shot the dogs. Maybe you know, like so. Who knows? But either way, it's a risk, you know. And I love how just you know, like Aship and that guy, um, that guy, that that guy, you know, that old guy, he just they just grab the dog and they're like, no, nope, I'm not letting the dogs go anywhere. <laughs> she, she's like, okay, so you, you, like, you know, like, my life is, like, you know, worthless, that means, like, you know, you're, 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 you're picking the dogs over me. <laughs> and then he sees the crows and he's like, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm, use, I'm going to use the crows. I'm like, how is that going to work? The crows are little creatures, you know, like, it wouldn't work at all. And obviously the person who's keeping an eye on this whole scene is at a very, like, you know, it's like a height. So their, their, their point of view is very high. They can see from the top. How are mere crows going to help? I don't know. But anyways, Al Shirashi had had this like you know idea of bringing crows to him, and he tries to do that. Funny, the the, the sparrows come in and just <laughs> starts eating, and and Shirashi is like, oh my god, this is bad. Okay, now here Sukishima says that okay, everything will be fine. Let's keep him occupied here. You know, Sugimoto is going to go and get him. No, no problem. And uh, you know, like Sukumoto quickly gets in the, the the room, and this guy he's very extremely like you know he like obviously he's a sniper. He's extremely alert. He realized someone came in. You know, as soon as someone got in the like in the room, he realized, and he's like, okay, someone got in. I'll be ready. And obviously, what Sukumoto is trying to do is since he's a sniper, a long range like you know shooter, um, he like you know like obviously he can, he can shoot at close range. But after shooting at close range, he needs to reload it you know and this is like a uh this is a um what do you call that bolt action uh sniper rifle you need to actually you know, pull the lever like this it can take out the um you know the 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 bullet is going to come out put a bullet like this and do it like this you know like like it's, it's a it's a long range of motion you have to go to to reload you know it, it's not like a like you know, the modern day sniper rifles which have like a magazine ready no it's it's a bolt action like you know sniper rifle you need to take it out and then put it in so shooting and then doing that and shooting again takes a bit of time so the first shot if he's if, if he misses it then it's over a person who's going to attack from close range is going to get the full advantage of the situation Sigmoto was trying to use that as an opportunity and he's like okay that's what i'm going to do and he like you know, the mirror was there and he had his knife and he's like okay i'm ready Anytime I'm going to go in and go, I'm going to get Ogata as soon as I can. And you know, his plan was obviously that he's going to shoot the mirror, thinking that's the person. You know? And that's what happens. When he comes in front of the mirror, the reflection falls on the mirror. He shoots the mirror because he thought that was the person. The shot is gone. Now he needs to reload. So using that opportunity, Sugimoto gets in and that he has a revolver in his hand and I was also like oh my god why did I not think of this obviously a sniper uh, like a, a person who's a sniper won't only have a sniper rifle he'll have a sidearm with him you know maybe maybe a knife maybe a like you know revolver a pistol whatever you know like he'll have that so yeah I should have expected that and I think Sugimoto also probably did not realize that something like that could happen at that heat of the moment he didn't realize and when he gets in front of him, he realizes that, oh my god, there's a revolver. And he also realizes that's not Ogata. So obviously he does not outright kills him. He hits him, you know, like he uses that thing and throws it towards him. And, you know, disarms him. And 
he was almost going to kill him like you know use the knife to kill him but then Ogatha's picture comes up you know and he gets curious he just stops he takes that ad out and he's like okay why do you have this now uh, on the outside you know they're still undercover and then like if some random like you know civilians come in and you know, Tsukushima's like what are you doing like you know just you'll get shot and uh, like they're not getting shot so they realize that Sugimoto has got that person. They still think it's Ogata, and you know, like as soon as Ashipa li listens to hears that, she starts running towards the building. And while <laughs> all of this was happening, this commotion, Sugimoto and this guy, they're having a nice conversation, you know, just just in the you know, kind of in, like signing to each other, showing the pictures and everything. And this guy, I was wondering why is this guy not talking? I thought maybe because he's like, you know, he's Russian, he speaks Russian. So that's why he probably was not speaking because he realized that speaking Russian won't help because he won't understand what I'm talking about. But turns out like not because of that, because of his you know, the wound that he got, he, uh, Ogata shot him. That because of that, he's not talking. Later on, we get to know that, and he's like bringing out these sketches of Ogata and showing it to Sugimoto. And Sugimoto at first was like, uh, why like you know like wh why why do you have this like is, is Ogata like your employer or something did he like uh, hire you to kill us or something and he's like no and he, he you know he like brings out his own sketch and he, he, he kind of puts those two together and he's like bang it's showing and Oga, like you know, somehow Sugimoto realizes what's going on and he's like oh okay okay so that's what's happening and he's also like all right you know like um tell me more and he brings out all the other pictures, you know, like Kiroranke, Shiraishi, uh, Ashripa, they're like all, all over all the pictures there. And Sugimoto's like, okay, this one and this one, Shiraishi and uh, like, you know, Ashripa, they don't have to do anything with this. They kind of like, you know, put them away. He shows Kiroranke's picture and he's like, he's dead. And shows Ogata's picture, this person is a bad one. And he starts, starts punching it. <laughs> and. <laughs> I love how he also starts punching it like this. You know, like, it's so funny. This whole part is so funny. <laughs> and Sugimoto's like, you know what? Let me draw a picture as well. I'm going to tell you what happened to me as well. Because Ogata also shot me. And he starts drawing himself. <laughs> and he shows, like, you know, these two. And he's like, bam! You know? Obviously trying to show him that, oh, I also got shot by Ogata. And... <laughs> Oh my god and then he like you know kind of draws the picture of ogata and you with the arrow and he tell tries to tell him that okay like you know ashripa she like you know sh accidentally shot the arrow which had poison and it got into ogata's eye so obviously ogata would have died but i i stopped that and i I, like, you know, I tried to keep him alive up until the end and even did the surgery on him so that he doesn't die because if he dies this would be like a permanent thing for ashripa to go like you know her hands would be you know, covered with blood and you know this is the funny thing about this whole situation how Ogata and uh, Sugimoto is so different like if you remember Ogata's whole thing was he doesn't you know believe that people like you know who are involved in these type of things like wars and stuff they can be pure you know their hands should always be like you know like, uh, like you know should always be soiled with blood no one who is involved in this situation can ever get away from the situation without soiling their hands in blood and if someone who doesn't want to do that that person is naive and should be killed that same thing happened with his brother his brothers like you know he didn't want to soil his own hand and he didn't want to kill that guy so Ogata just shot him later on from the back and uh, you know like he talks about how regret is something that you know like people like me don't have ironic because he's the person who has the most regret about his brother's death that's why it's still haunting him now you know like this is the thing like this is ogata's way of seeing like you know the whole situation where he sees that you know someone who doesn't try to spoil their hand with blood who's involved in this situation doesn't deserve to live and he looks at them in a very demeaning way and uh, you know and uh, like it kind of makes sense because you know because him being the um uh, the son of like a geisha you know like the whole thing about her his brother being like of royal blood noble blood and all that you know like he he hates these type of people that like you know have this type of uh, like you know nobility and they're like okay like i can get away with anything and my hands won't be soiled with blood 
and they always let the other people do their dirty jobs you know which he kind of like you know relates to that because he's that person you know he's the he's, he's the son of a geisha obviously his uh, status among the whole thing is very low so he sees how people like you know like uses these type of people to do their dirty job while they're just sitting down with their hands clean doing nothing which is something that he hates and doesn't like and obviously that is the reason why she he he hates people who tries to keep their hands clean even in these type of situations and that's why he even said the same to, uh, thing to Ashripa and tried to kill her so that's Ogata while Sugimoto here doesn't want Ashripa to soil her hands with blood because he thinks that innocence should be protected because that innocence that Ashripa has is salvation to him you know he looks at Ashripa and he finds salvation in that and like you know like it's funny that both of them are doing this like you know two different things for themselves Sugimoto is trying to keep Ashripa out of all these messy situations because he wants him her to retain her purity and if she's able to retain her purity then he like you know he will be saved by by like you know by looking at Ashripa he himself is getting saved by you know like by doing like and it's, ultimately he's doing it for Ashripa he's doing it for himself as well while Ogata is also doing the opposite he's killing the trying to killing the kill those people who try to be safe like that it's such a such a like an interesting dynamic and like I can agree like you know I like you know, I can see where Shugimoto is coming from where he says that that I want Ashripa san to be you know like not get into these type of things you know I want him her to remain pure and unsullied because you know she's my salvation looking at her saves me and uh, you know which is kind of like you know like like understandable because as, as Shubir Mugato himself went through so many things he he killed so many people and like you know, like everyone like you know who has gone through these type of thing has something that saves them you know like something to go back to you know uh, army like you know, people who are in the army they have their family to go back to and uh, similar to that since Sugimoto doesn't have that many like you know that much you like you know he has no family obviously um uh, that lady is there what's her name i forgot her name um his friend's wife uh the one who's who has bad eyesight and Sugimoto wants to give the gold to her i forgot her name anyways um you know like that person is there but you know for Sugimoto at this position you know like uh, Ashripa is that person who, who, who's like his 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 only place to go back to, and you know like she's the person that he 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 keeps looking like you know like he he keeps looking at keeps looking forward to going back to, and she's the salvation. She's like the end goal or something. And like like I said, you know like every person has something that saves them, and they they think of that and go through the hard times. For Shugimoto, Ashripa is that person. So that's why. He doesn't want anything like that, Ashripa to go through anything like that. Anyways, um, so there you go. Um, okay. After that, uh, in comes uh, Shima, and Sukishima uh, gives shows the two pictures and tells him what has actually happened. And he tells him that these people are not with us. This person died. Ogata is running away. We are just here to get the girl. She was kidnapped. Kidnapped. Now, you know, he, he realizes what's going on and he understands. <laughs> I love how Shira, she's just pissed. He's like, ha, like, you know, like, you should at least ask if you, like, you know, like, if that person is with us or anything. You know, like, he, like, you know, like, you, you just came and shot me. Like, is that any, any way to do stuff here, you know? He's just, just, like, you know, just talking about this whole thing and he's just extremely pissed. And he's like, what, you can't say sorry or something? Like, what's up with you? And he opens his mouth, like, you know, the mask. And shows him his face you know it's extremely like you know, probably just very much like you know, wounded and everything and they realize that's why he's not talking he cannot talk talk properly and uh, you know they leave and then this i was like okay wait isn't he going to join us or something because it, that's how it seemed like you know like he enemy of your enemy is your friend and then we see him just following us <laughs> on a horse and you know like they're like wait they're, he's following us what do we do and obviously they're like it's no problem he just wants to get ogata and you know he thinks that we are the biggest chance of him getting ogata and like you know, ogata is definitely going to try to find us or we will try to find ogata so he's coming with us 
and like you know like Sugimoto kind of said like it's, it's like you know they're, they're just going to continue doing this each like you know each of them are going to try to kill each other up until one of them survives and uh, yeah okay now we kind of get a little bit of a scene where we get to see how uh, um, Tsukishima went to that those old couple you know in the lighthouse uh, still Oh my god, I, I cannot pronounce her name. Stellana? What was the name of the girl? Their, their, little, their, their, their little girl, like the, the, that girl. Not little girl, but their child, you know. Um, Stellana, something like that was her name. I, I don't remember it properly. I can't even pronounce it. Uh, but that girl, you know, like she, we got to see what happened. You know, like she, as far as I can remember, she went with Gonraku. And they said something about like them going on adventures or something in the future. <laughs> but that's another story or something like that. So, you know, she's alive and well. And uh, he, he tells the parents about that. And obviously, they're, they're, they're very happy to hear that. And they're like, thank God she's alive and she's okay. Even though she's not, she has not come back. But, you know, at least knowing that she's alive helps us a lot. Okay. Now, they're talking about Sophia as well, as to what Sophia is going to do. And obviously, Ashripa says that Sophia is not going to keep just sitting down. She's also going to come, you know. And uh, Sophia is not the kind of person to run to the continent and stay there. There you go. And, uh, you know, like, she's like, yeah, like, you know, okay. we'll have to wait for that. Now, that was that part. Now, we get to a different section of the story where hijikata and uh, we get to see hijikata and you know their team like staying in like a little inn or something and uh, you know like we get to know here that hijikata and ushiyama has been missing for a few days and shimpachi is extremely concerned he's like something must have happened what's going on and uh, you know like okay so these two okay i f i don't remember the name what was the name of that that prison guard um or Prison warden, what's his name? You know what? Let me check. Like, I need to know his name. Like, I, I, I do remember. Oh boy, but I've forgotten it again. Okay, I think Kadokura is that his name? Yeah, Kadokura. There you go. Kadokura, and uh, then there's that guy, then that new guy who has joined us. His name is something with Ushi or something, I forgot. Anyways, these two are there. And uh, now. Okay. Now, after that, um, they're like, okay, they'll be fine. You know, like these two are unbeatable. Like, you know, how do you think, like, you know, like you think that something happened to them? That's impossible. And uh, in the end, he's like, okay, fine. Like, you know, you're, you're that much concerned, uh, Shrimpachi. So we'll, we'll go, you know, we'll see what's going on. And uh, he says, like, you wait here, Nagakura-san. And uh, Kiyaushi, okay. Kiyaushi, okay. Now, okay, now here, there is for a moment, I kind of got a little bit confused here. Um, they, they're talking about that prisoner that they're trying to get, the one with the poison who knows a lot about poison. But I thought they're talking about, like, you know, for a moment, I thought they're talking about Hijikata. So when, you know, okay, like, let's read this part. He says, Kiraoshi says that perhaps I went after the prisoner who said to be hiding near Lake Akan um, and he killed them. Those two, question, well, sure, he's a worthless in a fight, but he's clever. And here I kind of, like, you know, was a little bit confused like the way they say this i was like i thought he was talking about um hijikata like he's worthless in a fight but he's clever and i'm like what is he talking about hijikata is worthless in a fight that's impossible and i was for a moment i was extremely confused and then i realized he's actually talking about the prisoner and i'm like oh yeah okay understandable you know he's talking about him uh makes sense because he's he's clever you know like we saw that and uh, he uses the poisons for his like you know stuff he might not be able to fight but he's witty and all that so and uh, you know like he talks about uh, how he was the jailer and he talks about how many like you know wrinkles his ass had 
<laughs> he knows about that and all. And he's talking about okay, he's a former vet, and he goes around and looked at horse and farm animals around Hokkaido, and uh, you know like he he knows a lot about poisons, and he has done used a lot of poisons to kill like thirty men or something, and uh, you know like we get to see like a little section here where he like you know a little recollection where he talks about how he has put like you know uh, poison in miso soup, and since poison in itself will pain is like you know, a little bit bitter and miso also being a little like you know in that taste range you know she he like you know like the person who ate it they felt that it's bitter but they were like oh it's probably the miso soup that i am eating and didn't realize what's happening and died and then there was that other person as well. he, he he loves using these type of tricks to test other people's luck and he was like doing this to like the yakuza boss and he's like oh since you're a yakuza boss your luck was probably good that's why you were able to like you know survive this and uh, you know like he, he loves doing this he loves like you know putting everything on luck and trying to see whether some like and these are like some dangerous games that he's playing you know like there's some real life and death like you know stuff like you know just just putting poison in some stuff and like you know making others drink it to see like you know who survived like that's some messed up thing he's doing but obviously you know like you know he's a prisoner obviously now so he like you know like um he says that he got his hands on the wolf pain from when he was out you know like doing the jobs in the prison and uh, you know like that's why he used to like you know, check his you know like his, his butthole <laughs> i love how Kira, she's like ha you're stupid if if, you, if someone puts wolf pain over there they'll die <laughs> he's like ah you 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 ass searcher or something like that he says what does he say you know, you, you know he wouldn't hide it there what does he call him okay okay he says that later on i think he calls him something i remember what does he call him ass searcher or something like that i think he calls him that was funny anyways um so yeah after that okay after that we see that uh this guy he uh this this poison the guy who's like you know like uh what's his name wait a minute okay never mind i can't find his name that guy that the guy they're trying to find um you know like we see uh they're asking for people asking people for uh, where you know okay so yeah uh after that we see kiyoshi asking someone that oh like you know asking a fisherman that where uh, you, you you you've seen these type of people like you know, like an old man and like a person with a little bump on their head <laughs> Kadagura comes in and he's like, oh, like, let's ask that person. And here's where he says, that don't tell me what to do, <laughs> asshole peeker. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, that's a great name. And he's like, my god, like, and I'm, I'm, I'm hired by your superior. Like, you don't, I don't have any kind of respect here or something. I'm stuck in the middle, aren't I? And then we get to meet the first figure skater, you know, in Japan. Like, you know, he, this, this little boy. Who's just he he has found out that you can slide on the you kind know, of snow like uh, not snow but the ice like this and he's like you know doing these type of things and he was the first person who became the figure skater that's that's interesting <laughs> and you know Kadokura asks him like have you seen this you know person and uh, later on he kind of says like yeah I've seen someone he was just standing over there you know and uh, he he goes there Kadokura and sees the little cocoon and uh, you know here we get a little flashback these are like uh thick one cocoons okay um half of them contain fugu poison arsenic wolf's bane trich nine okay while the half of them are okay so again he's he's doing this thing again you know where he's like you know trying to put people like in you know, a life in this situation and like playing with luck and he did the same thing to hijikata and Ushiyama as well, you know, he got Ushiyama as a hostage, and he's like, okay, you know, like you, you do this Hijikata, otherwise I'm not going to release him. And Hijikata tries to bluff him, as far as I can remember. Yeah, that's what he does. There you go. He he says that oh Ushiyama, I have his uh, like you know tattoos written down. Like, you know, there's no problem. And he says that, oh, but, you know, like, I asked Yushi, Ushiyama for the, about, like, I you know, told Ushiyama the same thing. I told that you are taken as hostage by me. And he actually, like, you know, took the cocoon and, like, you know, kind of ate it. 
and uh, you know this shows his loyalty so i think he says something like where is that part yeah after saying that hijikata kind of looks at him you know because hijikata realizes that ushiyama like you know like has loyalty and you know he, he would not just just ditch him like that so hijikata realizes that yeah i need this person with me you know ushiyama because he's he's trying to make like the, the thing that he's trying to do here hijikata he needs a lot of help you know and a lot of, of strong people ushiyama is one of them so i'm pretty sure at the, at the beginning and he was definitely bluffing about it at the beginning i'm pretty sure he was bluffing and he was like you know kind of bluffing to make that person give up by saying like oh i have his tattoos i don't need him but you know he's he's he would he would probably not do that because like i said he's he needs ushiyama and ushiyama is like the strong one of the strongest people here so after realizing that this guy is not going to fall for the bluff you know um he says that 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 poison guy he says that leaders have good luck so let's test your luck hijikata if you lose then you lose you were probably not meant to be at the top and if you win then yeah okay you win you know you are meant to be top you're meant to be a leader so let's test the luck you know let's see what happens and i don't know why but i, I was thinking maybe hijikata is going to do some kind of a trick here and i'm still not sure if he actually did something because in the end you know of the scene the ending scene it was like a scene where we see Hijikata fallen down and the cocoon was there. And uh, like, you know, I don't know if that was like, you know, like he, he kind of tricked him into thinking that maybe he took the cocoon and ate, like, you know, ate the content inside it, but he actually did not, you know, obviously successfully tricking the other person. Maybe he did that, but I'm not completely sure. We'll have to wait for the next episode to see if he actually uh, like, you know, ate the contents of the cocoon or if he did not and he just tricked him to strike from the back. But we'll see that in the next episode will tell us what happened. But either way, he, he takes a cocoon and he like, you know, consumes it and uh, he falls down. And, uh, you know, like he's like, he's just unconscious. Oh, he can do another thing, you know, maybe he, he actually picked the correct one, the winner one. And he did not get affected by the poison, but he acted of getting affected by the poison and acted to go unconscious. So that he can actually catch him off guard later on like help ushiyama out save ushiyama and then get him maybe because of that he's just acting now or something who knows like i said the next episode will tell us what happened uh, so uh, but you know what but this guy is pretty well versed with poison so he, he talks he, he looks at him and he says from the symptoms he took the fugu tetrodoxin so no maybe maybe you know what maybe maybe he did take the poison who knows because like I said, he, this guy knows his stuff. So he wouldn't just mistake a symptom like that. Since he saw him and he realized there was a, some symptoms, that probably means he did take the poison. So I don't know. Like I said, next episode, we'll have to wait. But before that, you know, like, let's, like, you know, let's, let's just see what happens. Okay, so he takes him somewhere else and, you know, puts him in that coffin or that place. <laughs> and I love how I love how um, Kadokura is like oh this this trail has called gold and uh, now you know this guy he comes in the poison guy and he's like oh we have caught some fish you can take some you know like you want to eat them here you go uh, have them with your friends make some tempura and uh, you know like he, he, he then leaves and obviously Kiyaushi is like oh it's great we got some food and uh, like you know so this one of them according to him one of them has poison in it again he's doing that you know he's, he's trying to test the luck he's just like yeah let's see who will be the unlucky person here you know like is are they going to win the gamble of luck or are they or they won't and um what happens here is <laughs> kadagra falls down trips the whole thing falls down that the, the fishes go down completely slide into the water you know, and and there's like some really convenient holes over there and the fish just drops in into the water all the fishes are gone and it's so funny that the fish didn't drop in the ice but they actually slid in and went into the water that means that these fishes are you can't be recovered again you know they just went into the water like if the fish fell in the ice they probably would have picked it up and dusted it a little maybe like washed it a little bit and ate it but there's no possibility of that anyway you know like all the fish are in the water so there you go like <laughs> no poison 
no poison for dinner you know <laughs> and he gets up and he's like oh no like and again my bad luck is striking again you know like and he talks about how he has always like kind of been the brunt of like a bad luck he always like you know like always uh like you know, some bad stuff happened and uh, he, he recounts of some like you know tales from his childhood where he had like complete bad luck and he's like yeah i'm just like that nothing can be done i was born under a bad star former head jailer kadakura possesses horrifically bad luck but you know what this time the bad luck became good luck you know the bad luck actually helped them and made the whole situation a good thing you know and they got lucky and i wonder what this guy is going to do now because he he, he likes like he kind of likes testing other people of their luck and this this shows that how even though he had he's unlucky he's he became so lucky this time i wonder what he's going to react how he's going to react after realizing what happened we'll see next episode but anyways that was the first episode fantastic start and we get to see more of uh you know like um, um uh, sugimoto and ashripa now uh season three we also got, they kind of got to go like kind of like to see them as well but they were separated you know but now they're back again together and we're going to start the journey together again hopefully they stay together don't get separated again and we'll probably get to see some more hilarious interactions and stuff <laughs> and yeah um so there you go the comedy is as funny as ever you know like the weird stuff that they do in this show is is, is hilarious to just see them and uh, yeah so there you go that is it that was oh and in the end i forgot to mention that in the end we kind of see hijikata falling down you know and there's like the cocoon beside her so there you go that's it that was my reaction to the first episode of golden kami season uh four uh, yeah season four episode number one if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out and yeah that is it thank you for watching and i'll be back next week with another episode of golden kamui and uh, like i said you know um the time that this video is going to come out next week it won't be the same time that i'm going to upload ep episode two reaction but it will be one day after so you know it'll be a little bit later since this is the first episode i decided to do that this quickly and because and also because i don't have anything else to upload today <laughs> so basically because of that and uh, so you know like from next week uh, this this reaction i'll definitely going i'm definitely going to react to it but it will be one day later than today so that's just something i wanted to let you guys know so yeah anyways so see you guys next week until then goodbye and have a nice day